Absolutely. It looks like 2001 A Space Odyssey. officer relocated in a link. He is blind. I guess it's sort of an homage to the Cat of Nine Tales, but he um, he can detect things all by scent and such. And um, he's a, sort of a mysterious character, but he's also one who offers a lot of helpful, useful advice that gets this whole murder murder um, spree solved. And um, it's a actually it's a fun role to play because it's a bit challenging being blind character, but having to do everything with my eyes closed and such, and so, uh, yeah, but Derek is, I think, one of the less um, colorful roles in the film, because everyone else, in, in some way, shape, or form, is deranged or psychosexual or, or just, um, um, what's the word I'm trying to find? It's, de I say, decadent. <laughs> Uh, I'm half Italian, half Iranian. My mother is from Tehran. Um, I'm a really particular person, actually. I can I can really like talk about myself. It's really hard for me. But the day before I came out, I was in hospital, and they dripped me up. Look. Oh, uh, oh. But I had to do the film. <laughs> Eleanor is um, a lady who runs girls. I, I, she's a sort of escort agency, but um, sort of models. The film was great. I, I don't think I've ever done a giallo in Italy, um, so that was quite interesting to do. Um, I have to talk fast now because um, my taxi's here. The coffee's great, the food's beautiful, and basically what the Italians are, are very, very sweet. I live in Rome and I spent three years in New York and I was studying at NYU and then I moved to the Lee Strasberg Institute when I started to study theater and I have this this passion like since I was a ch child like maybe six years old something like that and actually this is my first thriller movie I especially like horror I like action thriller kind of films so I like to do those um, I, I, I would like um, Event Horizon, I Event saw Horizon, that. yeah. How are you? Oh, I'm glad to. He's a pure cop. He's um, still thinking and um, the, the law has um, an important and deep um, mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, but what does that Sandro is, uh, I said, is pure. He respects his job. Um, he loves his job. He loves the, the fact that the um, law uh, always win. And um, the truth always wins. I'm an actress. Uh, actually, I love it. I mean, since I was a child, I used to, I, I really love to watch it, like this kind of movie. But obviously, I never did something like 
this before. <laughs> it's really interesting. I have fun. Darkness surrounds Roberta, which is a very dramatic title. <laughs> Actually, the title, I should just let you know, it was originally the title of a movie I did years ago, another Jalo, called Five Dead on the Crimson Canvas, and the original title of that was Darkness Surrounds Gloria. So my little homage to my friend Joe Parde is this title. But this is a Jalo, which I love, and um, I've worked with director Giovanni Piani Gianni and executive producer Bruno Di Marcello once before on a movie called Pilgrimage, uh, which is in Red Midnight, and I decided I want to work with him again. This was two years ago, so I said, okay, this time I want to do a fe full feature here in the States. Uh, here in the States. What am I saying? <laughs> I do, do a full feature in Italy, and I want it to be a giallo. But um, keep an eye out for this, because I think it's going to be good. It's a little bit disorganized, but just <laughs> everything, everything in life is disorganized. It's Italy. It's fun, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, Naples beautiful. Actually, Italy is fantastic. I love it. And it's just a nice, stylish, trashy giallo, which pays homage to the jolly, not so much of Dario Argento, but more of like the um, Roberto Lenzi and um, Sergio Martino ones from the early 70s, so it kind of has that everybody's guilty, everybody's got some decadent quality. Maybe he could be the, the stupid one, because sometimes, you know, when you're straight, looking straight to your um, focus, you you forget and you don't see the movement around you or all around the world. Where are we? The story takes place in Florence, which is a city that I only visited twice very quickly and I wanted to spend two whole weeks there and discovered that it's too expensive, too difficult, so we decided to make the film here in Caserta, Italy, which is just um, north of, I think, north of Naples. And with a few second unit shots of Florence, basically this will become the background for Florence, the, uh, I should say the mock-up of Florence, so that's what we're doing. Most of the cast are Italians, and they're great people to work with, and they're nice. It's a lot, for a lot of them, it's their first English language film, so besides producing, I'm here to, to help them with their English and make sure they speak correctly. But also in the cast are some people I've worked with before. We have the beautiful Rain Brown, who was in Barricade with me, along with Angel's Blade. And she plays Dora, who is a... We never quite explain if she's American or not, but she's an American who's relocated here in Italy, and she's just this absolute rich bitch slut scheming, uh, <laughs> scheming uh, whore, so it's kind of a fun character for her to play, because she normally doesn't play this kind of characters. We also have Eileen Daly, British Eileen Daly, who um, was in Machines of Love and Hate, something I did a few years ago, and um, Razorblade Smile, which she's very popular for around the world. Uh, but she plays uh, the head of uh, English Muffin Models, which is this uh, modeling agency where these, these three models who were murdered in the film were associated with, so it's a, there's a connection. She plays this kind of devious character. We also have the great Timo Rose, <laughs> who uh, worked on Barricade, of course. He was his film. He, uh, Timo was supposed to do just the special effects for this film, but he became much more, he became an actor, he became a social producer. He's going to probably be doing this very documentary you're watching right now, so he's great. And the cast loves him because he's a practical joker. And <laughs> he's... Uh, he, I think he likes Italy. You're such a bastard. <laughs> yeah, we teach her. Now she can say thank you and fuck you. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. And what, exactly? Yes. Fuck you. 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 And fuck you too. Fuck you too, man. Thank you. No! <laughs> I teach all of them fuck you and stuff like that. So no, you did it. It wasn't me. It's a bad guy. It's a totally bad guy. I'm Cassinista. Timo is Diablo. Exactly. He's a nice Diablo. A nice? A bad. A bad Diablo. It's a fucker, a fuck face. It's a director. 
What's his name? Giovanni Pasinari Nani Nani. Exactly. Look at Giovanni Pasinari Nani Nani Nani. No, 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 okay. That was director, Mr. Giovanni Pasinari Nani. Thank you. Other people I've worked with, once again, I've worked with Giovanni and Bruno. And um, another person on this production I'm very happy to be working with is Marco Werba, the composer of the music, who I met here uh, during my first trip to Italy 11 years ago. And since then, I've been trying to work with him on every film I've worked on since, and just for some reason had no way of working with him because the directors I've worked with had their own composer. So now, finally, Marco, we're working together. <laughs> This, this apparently is the man who makes all the pizzas that we've been eating every night, and this is very good Italian pizza, not like the heavy, cheesy American pizza. So, anyway, um, Nino over here felt we should see. Jolly! Quello è jolly! Cultura! La cultura! I see the world in a much different way. So, to me, everything is a sound or a smell. These girls all have the same scent. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Hello, I'm Timo Rosa. I'm totally proud to be here. Goodbye. Good night. Buena notte. Hello, folks. We're here in Casa Pullo, which is just outside Caserta, and it's another night of film and fun, and we're here with Nino, who you may know already from previous interviews, and Andrea, and they're from Associati Sirtaki. Yes, I said it right. Sirtaki. I don't know what Sirtaki means, but I know that it's important to them, and they want me to mention this. Um, cosa? Sirtaki. Cosa è Sirtaki? Ballo. Ballo. Okay, we're going to have a little demonstration. It's a, it's a dance. Dance. It's a dance. That's yeah, kind of a dance. Okay. Would you like to dance? Dance. <laughs> and Tommy? Beep, 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 beep. No, folks, there are no drugs on the set, but <laughs> there are caseratins on the set, and they're full of drugs. Drugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. Grazie. <laughs> I don't know where they're taking us, but you have been warned, folks. Yes. Um, we, we need more light. Yeah. No. But they're taking us. But they did it every way. And all the time, they're laughing and laughing and making jokes about yeah, us. Think, and, and we don't know they're dangerous. what they're talking about. Because certain is dangerous. I'm certain because certain is not dangerous. Italians. It's like, I don't know. We are fucking scared. We are totally scared that nobody knows what happened here. Strange. I haven't been this scared since I saw Fatal Frames. Fatal Frames? <laughs> wow. Hey, Then in television, huh? How the hell do you figure? Look at this. Look at it. I'm hitting every button in the book. Does anything work? No. No. It's. Hello. Hello. Do I have to hit TV? Ah. Ah. ah huh. It's working. See, the only reason I'm looking at the TV set is because I don't have a watch. I don't wear a watch. I use my cell phone, which doesn't work here in Italy. There are no clocks in the room. There's no clocks outside. Um, no one's home downstairs where I could say, Hi, do you know what time it is? Nothing. All I have to go by is this TV set, which occasionally has the time in the corner. 
Uh, oh, by the way, look, if you take a look real fast, I mean, I don't know if this, we have rights for this stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this is typical Italian yes. TV. <laughs> and we know her, the blonde bitch. We know, yeah, she's trying to yeah. be Marilyn Monroe, but she's in, She's you know, nothing. She's nothing. just an Italian starlet who wants to be. Or she should know us. Oh, who is this person? <laughs> what time is it? This is... See, this movie really is a mystery. It is beyond a giallo because we can't... It takes four people to figure out what time it is. You need a QPRO to come in here and say, you know... Even just to figure out in the morning whose car we're going in, whose car we're going home with, you need three super sleuths to find out. And it's like, can we just get it right together, boys? <laughs> Let's see, we still don't know what time it is. It's fine, it's fine. We still, we do know there's, there's some beautiful jewelry you can buy on TV. We uh, see, look, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, you could buy this. That's great. You know what time it is? No. Don't have newscast. Hello. So he did not find the time. So no, I will try on my TV. No, this is up to 40 channels. Okay, I will try on my TV. Follow me. You will. Okay. Yes, true. No, I will try right. on my fucking television. Sometimes what I go by is the sunshine. <laughs> I say, well, it looks like it's about four. Okay. Now, if you could turn this on. Call me. Can Professor, I ask a question? Professor. Right? Why do you have a big bottle of olive oil in your bedroom? Oh, I don't know. Because uh, <laughs> I have funny little uh, games uh, here. I, I know I you're like, alone I'm here, and it gets lonely in Italy, I'm but. Dang. <laughs> 15 11. Oh, it's 15 11. 15 11. 15, 11. 15, 11. 15 minus 12 is 3 11 p.m. And I think Giovanni will be here in about 45 minutes so we can film yes. some horrible, horrible exactly. things. So I have to cook the blood now. Okay, let's cook the blood. Cook Shall the we blood. say ciao ciao for now? Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. The one is here. One is here, yeah? Yes. Okay. Quattro cheek, uh, boo, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's difficult. I can look, you can make like a big wound here. Eh, big wound. A big one. Eh, yeah, so. Yeah. So. Okay. A big here, I want to refer. Yes, yes. Six. Okay. Then I will only make a little blood on here because when I put the can put the makeup stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a little it's a little difficult because it's white, so ah. I, yeah. ah, the white is no so good for the blood. No, that's okay, that's okay, that's not a problem. Um Oh that's okay. Oh I make it, man. Okay, maybe I'm gonna go come get a tante quick, no? Yeah yeah. Yeah, first of all, I'm gonna go. Here I'm like... 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 Here I'm but, uh, how much time do you think it will be if I just go downstairs, like 15 minutes? I don't want to talk to you. Tell me. What? How much time? I don't want to stand. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. 20 minutes to go downstairs. Okay. 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 I will do the fast version, so... We have to clean your scissor layer, Mr. Sasso. Yes. With matches. <laughs> what? With, we'll burn it. Yeah. It's a little cold. Because I'm going to be very sporty. Ah, that's okay. No, it's beautiful Italian. Don't ask me. We have some things in the house, so we need to remove the scooter. A little cold. Attention! Okay. A little cold. A little cold. One minute. A little cold. Because it's cold. Po, poco, 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 piccolo eh, dimensione, uh, Alex, <laughs> when, uh, when, uh, explain, when, uh, okay, explain, the, explain the difference, the subtleties of, uh, we say subtleties, subtleties. <laughs> little cold. 